What is up you guys? It is Taylor. Uh, today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2016 and I am a few days late to the party. Uh, last Thursday, five days ago, was um, May 12th, 2016 and that marked my nine months on testosterone. Been kinda busy, didn't get to it, but here I am. Better late than never, I guess. So let's dive right in with changes, nine months on T. Um, body hair increasing everywhere. Everywhere that you could think that someone would grow body hair, that's where I'm growing body hair. Like, my stomach is. It's not like insane like some dudes, but like, it's getting hairy. Obviously, I didn't have hair there before, so anything there is like, damn, and uh. So, that stepped up its game. My happy trail stepped up its game. Body hair everywhere. Uh, my arms <clears throat> continuing to get like longer and darker. Uh, my hands, I don't know if I said this last month. I might have. I repeat myself a lot, so who cares? Uh, my hands are getting hairier, and there's like small hairs where there's never been hair before, and it's growing into my hands. Oh, hair everywhere. Um, except for the one place I want it, which is my face. But that does lead me to facial hair. Um, over the past month, my facial hair has stepped up its game a lot. Um, it's growing in thicker and darker and way quicker. I shave at least like every two days now this, like, my neck. Because I hate, I hate the feeling of, like, hair on my neck. That's sick. That's not even attractive. I don't even want that. I don't know why my body thinks it needs to grow hair there and not, like, here. Fix that shit, like grow up here, not down here. So yeah, I shave like every two days because I can't stand it. Um, I'm kind of like a diva boy, so there's that. Um, but yeah, facial hair. I have let it grow in a few times and I've shaved it off because it grows like along my jawlines, like I've said before. But it doesn't really grow like right here to connect anything. So I let it grow in thinking, oh, I look so good. And then one day I wake up and I'm like, nah, gotta go. So then I shave it off. It's like this everlasting cycle of, <sighs> I don't know, I don't even know, but it just, it sucks. Um, the veins on my hands, I'm getting more veiny. Um, and especially within the last like couple weeks, two weeks or so, I noticed it. Like I looked down at my hands and my veins are like, Poppin', they're insane, and I feel like they're more veiny than they ever were before. So that's cool. Like, veins are cool. So that's good. Um, but yeah, for changes, that's really it. My voice. I don't know. We'll have to compare it. Let's do a quick voice comparison. What's up, guys? It is Taylor. Today is Tuesday, April twelfth, two thousand and sixteen. And today, I am 8 official months on testosterone. What's up, guys? It is Taylor, and this is my voice. 9 months on testosterone. Has it changed? Let me know. Like I said before, if it hasn't, if you don't notice it, just say you do. I don't, I mean, I don't really care. Like, you don't always have to be honest. Like, just lie to me and say that my voice has changed so that I feel better about my life. I mean, that's all you really got to do to make me happy, so... Yeah, that's really it for changes, though. Um, I do have an update, though. Last week, last Monday, I had my nine-month endocrinologist visit, checkup, whatever, and um, basically, she drew my blood and whatnot, like always, and the next day, the nurse called me, like always, and they were like, your testosterone level is in the normal range of where we want it. It's supposed to be anywhere between like, and don't quote me, but it was like 300 and 800, something like that. And mine was like 350, 370, something like that. And they were like, that's, like you're in the target area, that's where we want you. Um, you're obviously on the lower end of the target area, but you're still in the target area. And she was like... Dr. Amora, which is my endocrinologist, she was like, she's totally fine with you staying on this dose that you're on, which I was on 0.25 every Wednesday. 
um, or if you want to increase it, then she is alright with that as well, since you are on the lower end of it. And she just kind of left it up to me on what I wanted to do. And obviously, I'm impatient, and I was like, hell yeah, let's up it. So I up my dose, which is super exciting. Um, I am now on 0 .30 every Wednesday, which is like 60 milligrams, something like that. I don't really know. Like, I don't know any of that shit. I just know where to go up on the needle. You go to 0 .30, so yeah. But it is the highest I have ever been on since being on T. The highest before that was 0.25, now I'm on 0.30, which is the highest. And so, I'm really hoping for lots of changes, coming quicker, more noticeable, get my facial hair coming in. Yeah, hoping for changes, quicker. Um, and, what else was I going to say? Oh, um, last... Tuesday is when she called me and told me that I could up it, and so Wednesday is my shot day, so the next day, that last Wednesday was the first time that I did the, uh, sorry, I got distracted by my phone, I should, I should pay attention, um, but last Wednesday was the first time that I did the higher dose shot, and so tomorrow is Wednesday, and that will be my second time. I don't know, I'm really excited about it, like, I'm really hoping that by opening this dose, this gets the show on the road a little bit here, so, that's really it, short and sweet, hopefully, I don't know how long this video will end up being, but, I mean, it seemed short, so, keep you guys posted, and I will see you for my 10 month video, thanks for watching.